G'day guys, welcome to Exmouth on the northern end of the Ningaloo Reef in Western Australia. Um, my name's Sarah and um, I'm chatting with you guys from the decks of our sailing catamaran um, in the Exmouth Gulf at the moment. Uh, before I go any further, I just wanted to do a, um, a welcome to country for the local traditional owners, the Bayangu, the Jindagudara and the Thalangi people. Um, Ningaloo Reef uh, is just around the corner. We're in the Ningaloo Marine Park at the moment, the World Heritage listed Ningaloo Marine Park. Um, and we're probably about 12 hours drive from Perth where we are here. And we're beaming the dream to you live uh, in the Exmouth Gulf. We've got some humpback whales just ahead of us that have been breaching and hanging out on the surface. So pretty awesome for the guys at the front of the boat doing a bit of whale watching. Um, we're pretty lucky in the Gulf because we get a lot of them come up uh, about this time of year for a few months and rest up with their young before they head the big migration back south. Just around the corner on the northern tip of uh, the reef there, we are doing a real dreamlike experience at the moment and swimming with the humpback whales. So that's a pretty amazing experience and that's from probably about August through to now or another month's time. Um, and obviously before that we've got our whale sharks um, as well. So pretty amazing things to do at Ningaloo Reef. I'm just going to ask uh, one of our onboard tour guides and marine biologists, um, also one of our skippers, she's been around with us for quite a while now, uh, China to come on board with me and, and have a bit of a chat about what we get to do at Ningaloo. How are you going China? Good, how are you? Yeah, I'm really well. That's good. So how nice to be out watching I some know, humpback whales. I know, we're very lucky out here that we get so many humpback whales come up. We do, we get a lot. Yeah. So um, tell me a little bit about what they're doing here. Um, so these guys are on an annual migration purely to have their calf. Um, if they were to do it back in Antarctica, the water's too cold, so they come up, have a little bit of a um, tropical holiday um, just to yeah, give birth, essentially. Very nice. Yeah. And um, so we've seen a few different behaviours today. I think I've seen the breaching and yep. yeah, they, what else do they do? Um, so there is a lot of surface activity that they do, which is um, what we um, try to view from the boat. A lot of breaching, a lot of um, peck slapping, tail slapping, things like that, which is always exciting. Most of the time it's them just having a bit of fun, um, but um, they do also use it as a bit of communication um, and yeah, things like that. Get rid of an itch, get yeah, rid of a barnacle. Yeah, they have parasites and things that go onto their skin, so that sort of slapping onto the water um, rips that off as well. Yeah, cool. Yeah. And this is your second uh, tourist job for the day. Yeah. I believe earlier in the day you were yep. actually out there on a humpback whale swim. Sure swim. was, yeah. We um, had a group of people on the boat um, today swimming with humpback whales and it was really successful. Everyone got a few swims, um, good look at the humpbacks, which was really lucky. So What's yeah, it like to actually uh, see them in the water? It's pretty different. I guess seeing from the surface, you only sort of see the tip of the iceberg, which is impressive in itself. But um, yeah, down in the water, you sort of see their belly, see how big they are. It's a whole different experience. It's really magical. Pretty ginormous yeah. animal, aren't they? Yeah, exactly. Pretty amazing. Yeah. And uh, you guys actually swam with something else as well today, I hear? Yeah, we had whale sharks again today, um, which is um, pretty cool. We still are seeing them every single day, so everyone on board today was lucky enough to jump in with two big things today, humpback whales and whale sharks. Doesn't get much more yeah, dream-like yeah, than that. Yeah, so it was really good today. Really I think nice there'll be some, uh, some sweet dreams from some of our guests today, yeah. hopefully. Yeah, yep. Any mantas out there on the reef today? Um, there wasn't mantas, but we did have them a few days ago. So yeah, we are lucky we get um, a lot of big megafauna over there to see. It's amazing, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And then of course there's the 300 species of fish and yep. 500 different species of coral. And yeah, it's, which um, is why the Ningaloo is such a um, biodiverse and beautiful place. Yeah, it's so pretty it's amazing. super important. And then the Exmouth Gulf, which is when you just head around the corner, is, is a nursery not only for the humpbacks, but Jugons. so many other things. Yep. Yeah, yeah, it's really important. Um, yeah, nursery area for the Ningaloo as well. Pretty special. Yep. And so what do you think your favourite part of, um, of your role with us is? What's your favourite part of being a tour guide or marine biologist? Um, I love getting in the water with all the megafauna, but it's also nice to um, see the stoke on everyone else's faces. Once they see the animals for the first time, it does really make... Um, make my day for sure. Oh, it's amazing, yeah. isn't it? You have yeah. people in tears sometimes, yep. happy tears. Yeah, always, yeah. Big hugs at the yeah, end of the day. It's definitely a once in a lifetime opportunity for everyone. So um, yeah, I'm lucky enough to get to see everyone and experience that with them. So 
help them tick it off their bucket list. Exactly. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty unreal. And uh, you've hung around for a while, so I'm assuming you love living in X now. Yes, definitely. Um, and and why is that? What's the what's your favourite things to do on your days off? Um, definitely exploring the range. I mean, we get so much ocean time um, out at work, so it's nice to have the days off um, exploring the range, going for walks up Yardi Creek and the gorges and things like that. Um, but if you're sort of not feeling too adventurous and you want to just hang out in town, there's still some good breweries and um, things to hang out um, and drink some beers and stuff like that. So No shortage of things to do in X no, these days. It's come not. a long way in the last 10 years or so. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, unreal. These guys have gone a little bit quiet. They must be having a little bit of a chill out yeah. time under the water. Yep. A bit of breeze here tonight, so hopefully we'll be able to pull a sail out in a little while and see what happens. Hopefully they'll poke their heads up again. Yeah, there's quite a few pods around, so I'm sure we'll see some more soon. And the weather's just been beautiful. It's yeah. like sunny, 30 degrees every day. Yep, yep. It's beautiful. Today was glassy um, the whole day out on the water, so everyone was loving it. Yeah, The boat nice. wasn't moving around. It's good. Oh, that's what you want. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, well, thanks, China. I so might right. ask you a few more questions in a little while, yeah, but no um, worries. I might see if Ash, one of our onboard photographers, can cool. join me for a minute and tell me a little bit about what she loves so much about Ningaloo and what what she gets to do on a daily basis for a job. And they've really gone quiet now. Hey, Ash. Hi, hey. Sarah. How are you going? I'm going good. How are you? You're, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> good. And you're another one that's doing a double shift today, but I it's am, not yes. a bad office, is it? It's not a bad office. It's been an absolutely magical day today. So Yeah, nice. Yeah, just, yeah, finishing it off with a beautiful sunset and the whales have been so great. So It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. And were you on the same boat as China or did you find no, we were on a different... No, we were on a different boat today, So, um, but I think we did pretty much... Similar Same sort of thing. And, yeah, had some incredible humpback whale swims and a beautiful finish it off with a beautiful, a beautiful Aww. whale shark, a beautiful male whale shark, about Aww. five meters in size. Oh, magic! How lucky! Yeah. How lucky. And did you get any manta rays today, or have you? Um, seen... We didn't get any manta rays today, but I have seen plenty of them around recently. I yeah. Think one of your favourite from your photos. There's a, I believe there's a manta ray out here now. Is there? Yeah, I think we've got one out just behind us. Behind us somewhere. Oh, that's what everyone's pointing that's at. That's what okay, everyone's pointing we've got a manta at. Ray. Yeah. There's been plenty of manta rays around at the moment. Um, we've been seeing so many mating chains out in the out in the reef, which is super special. Um, one female manta ray at the front being chased by several Aww. different males behind her, putting on a bit of a show, a bit of a dance. It's always super exciting to see that. How beautiful. I did hear a little rumour that there was 70 in the Gulf the other day. Oh my so, gosh, um, 70, that would be incredible to see. Oh, it's insane. Yeah. And, and what are they doing in the Gulf? Just kind of following the food? Uh, yeah, they just follow the food around and spend most of the time on the surface. That's where a lot of the food is. So, yeah, yeah cruising around the surface, um, cruising around, finding a mate, doing it's, a bit of a dance. It's a really hard one to, to pick, like being so spoiled to be able to swim with, all, you know, all these amazing animals. But... When you have a swim with a good manta ray, I feel like that's just... It's so magical. Something Especially really when special. they roll over upside down and you can see them looking at you and really interacting with you. They're such a intelligent animal. So, oh, yeah, having them amazing. dance around with you and really, you really feel that connection with manta rays. Yeah, yeah. They definitely know what's going on, don't they? And um, so, Ash, you've just won a pretty awesome award, which we're quite proud of. I have, yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about what you've, um, <laughs> what you've been doing with that. Um, I've actually just been awarded the overall winner of the Australian Geographic Nature Photographer of the Year. It's so, impressive. Yeah, it's a huge achievement for me um, in my very short, my very short career as a photographer. Um, yeah, it's absolutely, it's still incredible. I'm still buzzing. Oh, that's so good. That's yeah. So good. And um, yeah, what what led you to wanting to be a photographer? Um, I just wanted to be in the water all the time. Um, I wanted something different. I wanted a challenge. Um, so I bought a camera, taught myself how to use it. Spent every minute of the day that I wasn't driving the boat, scuba diving, every other thing that I was doing with my life, uh, learning how to use the camera, um, and fell in love. Got in the car, drove from the east coast to the west coast, found myself in on the Ningaloo Reef, and I don't think I'll ever go back. Oh, there's that manta ray who's just cruising oh, around beautiful. on the surface. That's pretty cool. Oh, oh a little bit of a... 
Oh, how looks beautiful. like he's getting a bit of food. Cruising along with his mouth open. Oh, incredible. <laughs> so good. But that's just the thing with Ningaloo, isn't it? That's where I pinch myself. Like every day, is, there's something different. There's that so comes much along. to see. You never know what the what the water's going to bring to you, bring to you this day, or what even the land. Driving home from driving home from the boat ramp, seeing emus, dingoes, yep. um, thorny devils on the road is incredible. There's so much different there's wildlife. Around at yeah, the moment, actually, even going out in the at night, going for a drive through the national park at night time, seeing all the lizards, snakes. Yep. on the road is super cool to do as well. Well, in your years of photographing uh, the reef, what's your favourite thing that you've? What's your favourite thing to photograph? Oh, that's a hard question because I like taking photos of everything. <laughs> tricky one. Uh, it's such a tricky one, but um, yeah, I've had so many magical experiences here. But um, I have had one. My the top experience that I can remember from this year um, was when I got to see two whale sharks in the water earlier in the season. You had some great yeah. photos from that, yeah. Yeah, it was just ended up, um, it was towards the end of our whale shark interaction and um, just ended up being me and one other gentleman in the water and still that could keep up with the whale shark. It suddenly stopped and then all of a sudden we saw why and there was two whale sharks just circling each other and it was absolutely incredible. And it, 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 that hardly ever happens because they're such isolated creatures that yeah. don't, don't hang out together in schools or anything like that yeah just... being solitary animals it's incredible yeah. seeing two of them in one area and especially checking them at, te checking each other out for as long as they did though it would have been five or six circles of each other before they finally made oh. their way in separate directions and it was just so incredible being able to share that experience with one of our guests and he was the most excited person you know, we were screaming and hugging each other afterwards because we just couldn't believe that it was only us that got Aww. to see it, unfortunately for the rest of the guests that didn't make it there in time, but um, it's one of those things, it's how nature is. Yeah, no, I can um, I can well imagine, I think I'd be screaming and hugging, I don't think I've ever seen two whale sharks together, it's, um, <laughs> sounds pretty amazing, but yeah, it's just the reef, uh, you know, like we had orcas out there a couple of days ago, Yeah, it's one of those things where... I mean, you, you could probably vouch for it. Like, once people have a day off after working five or six days and it's yep. their day off that something awesome happens and yep. they've straight away got FOMO because they're not out there. Oh, on that absolutely. Day. That happens to me every weekend. <laughs> <laughs> and so what else, what do you do in your time off besides photographing? Besides, Although I know you photograph on your time off as well. Besides going back out and taking more <laughs> photos. I definitely like spending a lot of time around in the National Park and um, hanging out at all the beautiful beaches that are around there and... Yeah, um, going for walks through the gorges, it's just incredible to see the views of the, the area. Yeah. Exmouth is such a wild, rugged place. If, as soon as you leave the town, there's just so much to see. Even just walking through a small path in the range between houses covered in wildflowers and everything, it's just... There's Which so much at the moment. Yeah. Like, amazing wildflower season. The wildflowers at the moment are just incredible. So yeah, there's just so much to see and... Um, yeah, we've got the turtles nesting. We're going to start nesting soon, which is super exciting. So I'm very excited for that. I can't wait to go out and start watching the turtles, the turtles nesting, and, um, and then when they hatch, the hatchlings. Yeah, towards the start of the year, um, that's going to be incredible. It is my favourite time, time of year. year. <laughs> yeah, there's always something amazing going on. Definitely always something amazing. And so, if you've got special people coming to visit, like family or friends. What's your what, what's the, your go-to for showing them around? What are your must-do activities? Um, definitely like taking them to see all the beautiful beaches. That's usually the first thing that we get to do. Um, everyone's always so impressed with the beautiful turquoise water throughout the national park. So um, that's always a hot spot heading down there. Maybe going for a walk through Yardi over Yardi Gorge, seeing the black-footed rock wallabies. Mm. Um, even going around looking for birds of prey, there's so many of them around through the National Park. Um, yep. It's always so exciting when you get to see them hunting. Um, we always love taking them to the visitor centre and up in the National Park looking for Megalodon tea. That's always so <laughs> <Yeah>. exciting. <laughs> um, and yeah, back through town, um, taking, making sure to take them to the pubs, the breweries. Um, oh, there's a whale breaching just over there. So much going on tonight. Oh, there is. I know. Manta rays, humpbacks. Well, oh, there were dolphins like around before. Yeah, there's so much going on tonight. And it's pretty special that um, 
I guess having the, the goal for having the cape up here, you can normally get out of the wind. Like, obviously, we've got the wind at the moment, yeah. but it's still nice and flat on the golf. Like, there's no swell. Yeah. And that's always the best thing about here is you can, you can find a spot, like a beach or anything that's out of the wind. There's so many different ones all around the Cape that you can always find a spot that's out of the wind and protected. And the majority of the time, it's so nice and sunny. So yep. there's always something to do and always somewhere to go find somewhere to hide out if it is breezy and yeah absolutely and then you've got the mangroves down the bottom of the gulf and you know and there's so much to see in there too um lots of little juvenile fish and juvenile um stingrays things like that all through the mangroves which is really exciting and lots of um for people who are um keen bird enthusiasts there's lots of birds and different species of different species of wildlife throughout the mangrove areas so there's just so much to see even um, heading out to the cattle stations is always so exciting that's as well. What I was just about to say. Yeah. I'm a little bit excited because I can never tear my, myself away from the ocean. But I think we've got a little bit of wind coming up in the next few days and being school holidays. I thought I might take the kids out to Ballara for a oh, night. Oh, Ballara is incredible. Go and stay out there. Yeah. They do a burger night. You can sit around the fire and have scones and a yeah. cool working station. And and the stargazing from out there. Oh, yeah. I never thought of that. That's one of my favourite things to go out to Ballara to do. The stars, there's no no artificial lights besides a campground so all you have yep. to do is walk a few minutes out and they've got that beautiful windmill that makes a the you can watch the stars underneath the windmill and yeah lovely no I'm, I'm excited to do something a little bit different like that and then we've got next year something pretty special happening we've got the solar eclipse yeah. so that's going to be this um, is the destination for the solar eclipse next year so town's going to be very very busy with people coming to coming to see that Coming to check it out. Yeah, people fly from all around the world to see solar eclipse. So, well, I've heard anywhere between twenty-five and fifty thousand people are coming. So, it's um for a little town of seven thousand people, it's it's a lot of people. It's going to be chuckers. Oh, now they're at the back of the boat, coming up at the back of the boat. But yeah, I mean, you know, you got Ballara down there. That's obviously a little bit off the coast. But all that coastal camping, like, obviously there's there's manta rays and there's beautiful um, accommodation like right there in town or there's mm. sellers down the reef but you know if you've got a caravan or you're happy to rough it a little bit there's camping on the stations or down in the national park and then you've really sort of got you know got that chance to be at one with nature. Yeah there's so many different experiences down the coast so many different fun spots to check out and yeah so much to see it's just it's incredible how much there is to do here and you just take it for granted sometimes and you just really have to get out there and experience it all. Yeah, no, it's pretty special. So we we obviously um, do a little bit of citizen science ourselves with um, with what we do with the whale sharks um, and you have a big part to play in that because some of your photos go into, into an ID catalogue or yeah. something. Can you tell me a bit more about what happens there? Yeah, so when we have our whale shark interactions and we swim with swim with our whale sharks, um, part of my job is to get an identification photograph of the whale shark. So each whale shark has its own unique spots and stripes pattern down its body. So we can use those spots and stripes patterns to actually identify each individual whale shark. So um, I'll usually get a photo of the side of the whale shark and submit that photograph into a database and that database can um, flip through a massive catalogue of uh, whale sharks and be able to identify if the whale shark's been seen here or anywhere else before. So it's very exciting. Um, it's something that all of our guests on board can get into as well. They can upload their own photographs to the database and um, yeah, find out a bit of information about their whale shark that they've seen for the day. So a great thing to have going on with the with the whale sharks definitely and aside from just that sheer size of them and how amazing they are at moving through the water i think part of the attraction is how little is actually known about them yeah you know we we i don't know what the percentages are you're probably better at that than i but there's more guys there's more males than there are females on the ningaloo reef yeah yeah there's more males to females and we only start to see them at a certain size so where do they hang out um you know before yeah. that there's still so much unknown about these big beautiful spotty fish there which makes it part of the excitement oh 100 percent. yeah they're just so magical so so unknown and that's what makes them so special I still remember my first swim. I, I just, it was all such a rush and it, it was amazing, but it wasn't till I went to bed that night and closed my eyes and I, I just saw this 
fish the size of a bus coming at me through this crystal clear blue water <laughs> and I was like oh my god and th- that's what it was like you know it was yeah. just it was amazing and it was an image that I think just stays with you forever I think I still think about whale sharks every night yeah <laughs> you probably do you sit there editing photos of whale sharks after spending the day with yeah. them on the boat I actually had a guest ask me today, which is a pretty fun thing. He's just like, what are you thinking about right now? We were just about to get ready to get in the water with the whale sharks. And he's like, what are you thinking about right now? What's going through your head? And I said to him, actually, I'm sitting here. Every time I get in the water with whale sharks, I get butterflies because I never know what that experience is going to bring. Is that going to be the experience where we have two whale sharks joining each other? Or is that going to be, are we going to have a manta ray swim up? Is it going to be an acryl ball? Is it going to turn and look at us? follow our bubbles you never know what it's going to be so every time we get every time I'm about to get in the water I'm sitting there thinking is this going to be the time that like what's going to happen now and the Ningaloo is so special and you just you just never know what you're going to find so what even in you know that they're obviously along the back of the reef we've got our humpback whales and our whale sharks but then we do a morning snorkel and an afternoon snorkel generally inside the reef yeah might have a dugon come through, dolphins, turtles, turtles, so many turtles. We actually had a um, sea snake today on our oh, snorkel. Cool. So yeah, again, you never know what you're going to find. It's just so exciting. Funny what you photographers find exciting. <laughs> sea snakes. Sea snakes. <laughs> oh, I guess loved it too. Yeah, no, I bet they did. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, anyway, it's um, it's been awesome chatting with you, Ash. Thank so thank you. you very much for um. Thank for you filling for us in me. on your role with us and <laughs> and what happened today out there. Thank you. Um, I think we're going to head on down the back maybe um, because I have a feeling our cargo net might be in the water. Um, so we might wander down there in a minute and just see what's going on down there. I don't think it's... And we've got some more humpback whales just coming down the side of the boat at the moment. Pretty amazing. Oh, So nice when they actually come out of the water and you can see that big white patch along their belly. Looks like we've got a mother and maybe a six month or one year old calf out there. We've often got an escort with them as well. They're literally everywhere at the moment. There's a pod there. There's another pod up just over there. Out that side, there's one breaching, so we're just sort of surrounded by humpbacks in the Gulf at this time of year. We've got a few other boats heading out looking for whales at the moment as well, by the look of it. And I think the crew are getting the cargo net all sorted, ready to go in. Just before our sun, just before the sunset.
come and come and check this out. Oh, some uh, whale sharks in there. Oh, it looks like everyone's chickening out. So the higher that you go up, guys, the um, the easier it'll be. The higher you go up, the easier it'll be. Oh, there we go. You got a few more in there. Why? Look at him go. So good. Oh, good work. Bit cold in there, is it? <laughs> it's not too bad, is it? It's pretty lovely. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Climb one up. So while the uh, adults are enjoying a nice glass of sparkling up the front in peace and quiet, we'll take the kids for a tow along in the cargo net. Perfect. <laughs> it doesn't get much more dreamlike than that. Yeah, you can spin around and sit on your bottom. Oh. Spin around and yeah, go that way. Oh, that works as well. Oh, Turn around on your back. Yeah, that's the ticket. <laughs> What's the water like, guys? Is it? Oh, there's humpbacks right there, right next to you. <laughs> You're almost getting a humpback swim in the cargo net. So just like a bit of a salty uh, spa bath in there, cruising along in those Ningaloo waters, a few smiles coming out. So anywhere from uh, swimming with whale sharks, swimming with the humpback whales, swimming with manta rays, jumping in the cargo net, having a glass of champagne on a sailing catamaran. It's all, uh, it's all just there at your fingertips here at Ningaloo. <laughs> you can do as much or as little as you want. Thanks so much for joining us guys as we beam the dream live from Ningaloo Race. Pretty epic arvo out here.